Powered air purifying respirator is a battery powered, belt mounted portable respirator that does all the work in keeping the welder supplied with fresh clean air. It filters any welding fumes, gas or other particles out to keep you protected while you work. So let's not forget our favourite part of the helmet, the brand new external grind button. You can keep it on while you're grinding, so no need to remove the safety gear or fiddle around with flip lens or hoods. One press and you'll be able to see what you're doing without compromising your safety. The filter itself can be found in the same unit as the battery, which attaches to the adjustable belt. It's lightweight and easy to wear, so you don't have to worry about getting in the way at all. Just strap it so the filter sits on your back and forget about it. You'll need to assemble your filter before use. Thankfully, we've made this nice and easy. First, place the spark arrestor into the filter cover. Now, place the pre-filter on top of the spark arrestor. And finally, place the filter over the pre-filter. It should all fit neatly into place, and it only goes one way, so don't try and force things the wrong way around. Finally, click the assembled filter into the turbo unit. Remove the release buckle out of the belt. Draw the fasten belt out from the waste connector. Slide the fasten belt into the blower unit through the two belt holes. Slide the fasten belt back into the waste connector. Put the release buckle back into the belt. Adjust the belt tightness so it can fit well with your shoulder and waist. The breathing hose connects to the helmet and the blower unit uses a twist lock mechanism. The lithium ion battery is 4400 milliamp hours that can give you up to 8 hours of use on level 1, 6 hours on level 2 and 4 hours on level 3. The battery can be charged in the unit or separately. Unimig sells additional batteries so you can always have one charged as needed. It is recommended to charge the battery if it hasn't been used for a few weeks as lithium batteries slowly lose their charge over time or through very cold temperatures. It will take between 3 to 4 hours to fully charge. The battery should fit neatly into the blower unit and will give you an audible chime when done correctly. The airflow and alarm system must always be checked before use. If the battery operating time is significantly reduced, the particle filter is likely due for a change. To test the airflow, connect the airflow indicator to the breathing connector and press the on button. If the ball moves above the indicator line, you should be good to go. If it's below the line, then there is a fault with the system. Don't use the unit if this is the case. If this is the case, your filter may be clogged and need to be changed. Be sure to inspect the filter before each use. To test the airflow alarm, remove the breathing tube from the welding helmet. Press the on button. Cover the air outlet with your hand and wait about 15 seconds. The alarm will be heard and the red light on the PAPR unit will flash. The filter mark on the unit will also flash. Refer to the manual to make sure you understand the risks and warnings with using a respirator unit. Here's the LCD to the unit. Number one shows the data of the current airflow. Number two shows the level of the airflow. Number three shows the filter condition. Number four shows the battery. And number five shows the temperature of the battery. To start the unit, press the on button. It should default to level one. Press the on button again to cycle through the levels. To turn the unit off, press and hold the off button for about 3 seconds. You should inspect the unit daily or before each use. If anything is malfunctioning or faulty, consult the manual. If the filter looks in poor condition or there is poor airflow, the filter likely needs to be replaced. The unit should be kept in the dry, clean area indoors. Of course, you can zip it up in the bag. So thanks for watching the walkthrough on our PAPR helmet. Don't forget to tag Unimig in the projects you're working on and we'll see you next time.